I'm gonna completely reupholster this entire 1994 Malibu Flightcraft boat using nothing but this old Singer sewing machine. Stick around. Well, I'm pretty excited today. All the material started to show up for the boat, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Wow, yeah, look at that. That's super bright compared to the uh, the old faded stuff on the boat that's 30 years old. All right, so this goes around here like this, and then, no, that's not right. It goes around here like this. Maybe the beauty of one of these projects is I basically have no idea what I'm doing, so that I don't know if that's good or bad. The last time I sewed anything was seventh grade home ec and I think I made a little pillow that looked like a pencil so that was what like 30 years ago get in there come on come on get in there come on go to your home get in the hole come on come on oh, oh there we go some of the hard part is using these old templates they're so old and crusty that you can't really lay them flat anymore. The one thing about this project that I like over uh, most of the other projects I do is that uh, this one is mostly a sitting project, so that's been kind of interesting. I'm used to being up on ladders and climbing around the barn and all sorts of places. Well, I think it turned out pretty well, considering it's the first one that I did. So it's the backrest for the uh, captain's chair, and uh, it, it probably could use a little bit of improvements, but overall it probably doesn't matter. So this thing just fits right on in there and actually gets bolted in, so that should be pretty slick. It's amazing how much it's already changed. I can't wait to get the rest of the seat done. The material I ordered all from this place online called uh, marinevinylfabric.com. Um, they had a lot of pretty good reviews, and, uh, and their product looked look pretty dang good so it uh it shipped they shipped it in this giant roll uh for everything and they had uh um for mine i had the white and then they mixed in all the colors and had it rolled into the roll itself i thought that was pretty slick uh it seemed like it was pretty well protected when it arrived but i think the most shocking thing was i bought the material um on a monday morning and uh it's two days later it was at the house. I, I don't know where the company is located, but I didn't expect it that quick. So that was a pretty big surprise. Just to keep everything straight, but I have been going through and labeling each piece exactly how I found it, uh, just to not confuse myself since everything is so different. I wonder if uh, somebody from Malibu back in the day didn't uh, sign on these that they had done. Uh, on these pieces kind of cool due to the fact that this material is so old and brittle i uh i've actually gone through and cut all of the uh a lot of the seams just with a knife i'm sure it's not exactly the proper way to do it and somebody would use a stitch remover and that's fine but just it's so so unbearably brittle that the stitch uh remover is pretty much pointless so and i, I kind of know what i need to have for the overhang for the seams anyway so it's it's easy enough just to go through it with a knife so far this is going pretty great uh, i've had a couple of issues with needles um i had to switch to a bigger needle for some reason the thread keeps uh kind of fraying and binding up above the needle in between the uh, thread guides and the needle itself i don't know if that's just my inexperience or i'm going too slow or i'm going too fast it seems like if i uh stitch to a point where i have to stop to readjust um, then when I start back up that's where I kind of have those those binding issues so not really sure but anyways things are going really good um, put together this is going to be uh, the piece for it's really hard to kind of hold open here but this is going to be the piece that's going to go on the backrest of the front observer seat so I'm really looking forward to getting that seat done um, they were all really in terrible condition but that one seemed like uh, it was probably the worst. So. Well, it's going pretty good so far. This is going to be, uh, so this will be the left side of the uh, front. And so now I got to put this piece on here, which will be the uh, right side of the front of the seat back.
Well, I wasn't really intending to film anything today. I just figured it'd work a little bit and then show some more later. But today's been a pretty rough day. There was a lot of sewing machine issues this morning for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Tension isn't exact or something like that. But I'm uh, working on the backrest for the front seat and... One thing that's been really hard to account for is how much shrinkage there's been, you know, after almost 30 years of the material being on the boat. And I'm trying to add a little bit of material to compensate for that, but when I went to put the, uh, the piece for the front seat on, it's just, it just worked out to be where it's just way too tight. So... I think what I'm going to do, it's, I mean, it's turning out okay, it's just kind of a bummer, but um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the one half, and just that way I only have to replace the one half, but it, it's a bummer, I'm not real, I'm not real happy about it, so, but we'll keep moving on. Well, let's try this again. I'm gonna reupholster this entire boat with this brand new Singer sewing machine. All right, well, it's been a couple pretty bad days, pretty tough days, uh, if I can say so myself, with the machine problems and everything else, but we're starting to have some victories. So look at this, this is the, uh, the front captain seat. So just finished this up. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I do see areas where I could have made improvements. Um, but overall, I'm extremely happy with the way that it turned out. So it's it's going to work great. And I want to show you guys one more thing. You got to see this new machine. It's absolutely incredible. I can't believe how much different it is. Got myself a little piece of scrap here just to show you. Put that in. Put the foot down. Watch this. No hands. Check out that stitching on there absolutely perfect both front and back that's what i've been looking for this whole time i'm super excited to use this guy so i was just sitting here uh doing the hand sewing on on the front seat which is actually coming along pretty doggone good if i don't say so myself and I was thinking that maybe uh, maybe you guys would be curious to know exactly how this all started and what, uh, what led up to the reupholstering of the boat. So like back in many years ago, uh, her and I lived by a lake and we, uh, we owned a boat and we'd go out tubing and wakeboarding and skiing and all sorts of stuff. And we loved it, but the house just really wasn't set up for kids. So we moved away from there and kind of put that life behind us. And I know that's her big passion and for the short amount of time we got to use the boat this summer god did we have a good time the kids had an absolute blast with all the tubing and sarah got to go skiing a couple of times and you know it just made it so that it was so worth figuring out how to reupholster this and... all right well today's going pretty good i'm still working on the uh the front seat for the for the boat doing the hand sewing that just is going to take forever and I'm not really looking forward to the back seat because it's about three times the size. So, uh, but today is an exciting day. Uh, I decided to start working on what I believe is the most challenging piece, and it's actually this. And I'm, I've gotten pretty far so so far today at this point. This is the captain's chair, and uh, th this thing is going to be really, really cool to get completed. And it, it it's kind of amazing. It has a lot of pieces, a couple of inside pieces a back piece that wraps the whole back and then it has the uh, the pieces that go on the side. So it's um it's by far the hardest sewing that I've had to do, but it's coming along pretty good uh, at this point. So um, let's just show you here, this goes on here and this goes back up and around and you can see I got the, the sides done and, uh, and the back's coming. So basically I just have uh, just have the side over here and, and this guy here and, and 
she'll get all put together. But no, that seems to be really coming along. I was really worried about this piece. It has an inside, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm calling it an inside hem almost, uh, the way that it's folded and sewn together. So that's a pretty tough one. Um, and uh, I figured I'd probably mess this one up a few times, but but it's going good. So this is a good day. One of the things that I've had to do here, I had planned on buying uh, all of the piping, uh, which if you're not familiar with the piping, that's what makes this little decorative thing here. And this is actually the one and only change that uh, my wife and I decided to make different. Um, originally, that was the, the whatever Malibu's color was, magma or whatever, kind of reddish pink. Uh, and we decided to change that sort of the color scheme uh, would be this dark gray right here. Um, and it'll really highlight nice. I think we're going to change the interior carpet on the boat to be closer to this dark gray. So it'll really make that that pop. But anyways, the company um, Marina Vinyl Fabrics.com, they make uh, pre-made piping. But I reached out to them because they didn't have any dark gray for sale. And unfortunately, they said that their machine uh, had broken. They were waiting on a replacement. So initially I had planned to wait for it and uh, and just buy it. That way it was already pre-made and I was pretty worried about having to make it. But uh, I got impatient and decided that, well, maybe I can make my own. And, and I kind of brought it to my wife's attention that maybe I should give it a try. And she said, well, go grab a scrap and give it a try. So I don't know, I did probably about a foot long strip one night in about three seconds and it turned out perfect. And so I've been making my own ever since. So basically what I've been doing is I've been cutting a chunk of uh, vinyl. I think this is an inch and a half wide. And then uh, I've been using double-sided sticky tape on it and basically just folding it over on itself and sticking it down. The hardest part is getting the weld cord in there, which I have here on the floor. Got some of this guy getting this in there and mainly just because of the way that it comes, it's just really a tight spool. So it always wants to fight you the whole way. And I've also figured out that... Uh, one of the feet that I have on this particular machine I make about 7,000 of these different feet. But one of the feet that I have is this piping foot. And if I can zoom in here and show you. So you can see right here, this foot has a couple of grooves in it. And the way that that's designed is that the, uh, the weld cord goes into the vinyl and it rides right inside that channel. So when you're feeding the material through, it just stays in there relatively perfect. Um, here's what the actual foot looks like up close has these grooves has these grooves on the bottom and it just feeds directly in so pretty cool that's definitely worth uh worth picking one of those up if you don't already have one well this is looking pretty good this is easily the toughest piece on the entire uh upholstery that i had to do it's just so many pieces going together and these uh inside seams and everything it's i'm i'm really proud of how this one turned out so this is really excited i'm exciting i'm uh super excited to get it all stapled in and see how it looks when it's all finished well it's been a few days since i've uh, filmed anything but we're making some pretty good progress this side uh, right here is the uh the back piece on the back of the motor uh actually where there's some cup holders and uh, as you can see here on the inside, they still need to be cut in. I ordered them already, and I uh, was expecting to get them yesterday, but they didn't show up. So let's wait a little bit longer. But I got some extra help today. I got my wife Sarah over here. She's working on the uh, hand stitching. That's actually the piece for the... <laughs> Something just fell over here. So she's working on the hand stitching for the uh, for the back seat for the back of the boat. So we're making pretty good progress. So that's awesome to have her help. But uh, I got to show you guys something else. Check this out. Get off of there, Mr. Box Elder Bug. So nothing's been uh, stapled down or nailed down or anything, of course. That's why it's kind of baggy. But this is the uh, motor cover that uh, I was able to complete yesterday. And uh, you can see here on the back where these cup holders are, there are four holes in it. So once everything gets stapled down and, and uh, set, it should turn out pretty nice. I'm really excited for that.
Well, this is a pretty interesting one that uh, that I discovered the other day. There's been a few things uh, with the upholstery, with the old upholstery that uh, has been interesting. I've, I've even found a couple of uh, mistakes that were made in the past and, um, you know, minor stuff that, that nobody would ever notice. But that was kind of exciting. But this one was really interesting. So this piece uh, mounts on the back of the uh, motor cover and basically is just a, like, drink holder for the back seats. And uh, so I, I got that all wrapped uh wrapped up the other day but what was interesting was uh the original one was actually double layered for some reason and i i really not sure uh sure why it was double layered in the first place um i don't really see any reason for it but that was kind of an interesting thing is to find out that there was two layers of uh of vinyl underneath there so anyways i've been working pretty hard on this one and it's turned out fantastic it looks absolutely beautiful and uh, i got the first cup holder uh, hole put in there and uh gonna put in the other three here today but it's pretty amazing uh, i bought myself some new uh some new cup holders from from the store and and i did the first one and, and was pretty surprised at how nice it just fit right inside of that uh that hole so it's going to be neat to get the rest of these done and get uh get this mounted back on the motor cover well, i'm still working on quite a few different things but uh, right now i'm working on the uh finishing touches of the back seat which is pretty exciting because this probably was the absolute worst piece in the boat as far as sitting on it um i didn't have too many complaints but sarah said that uh, uh when you were wearing a swimsuit and you were sitting on the back it was basically like a cheese grater on your legs so she's pretty happy to uh to have this piece all uh fixed up a lot of staples but as you can see look how well this thing turned out so this took uh this took us quite a while to do um this has a lot of the the hand stitching that needed to be done going all the way around the outside um like i said i just didn't feel confident with the machine you know by the time you get to that stitching uh you've done everything else and then you do that stitching i really didn't want to have that be messed up so we took the time and hand stitched it took a lot of time uh but i think in the end it'll be definitely worth it so that's really cool but yeah all i got left on this is um there's kind of like an aluminum frame that goes on the bottom that gets carpeted over the top and uh, that gets mounted just to kind of elevate the seat off the floor a little bit. So I'll finish that up uh, hopefully today as well. There's been a couple of other things too that I've uh, worked pretty hard on and uh, they just didn't seem like they've turned out as, as good as I liked. The original uh, gunnel walls um, had this in the middle of it where it says flightcraft and it's been embroidered on there. Um, I don't have the equipment to do that embroidery and I've pretty much exhausted every option I can think of as far as trying to hand embroider it. Nothing turned out as well as I would have liked to have had it. So, um, so for the meantime, uh, what we've done is, uh, we've chosen to just wrap, wrap it in a dark gray, uh, and put the dark gray piping on the bottom. And, um, it looks pretty sharp on the boat. You know, it doesn't have the embroidery and it's kind of missing and, I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit bummed about it. I ended up going with this uh, design here. Basically, I took two pieces of vinyl and uh, stenciled it out and then stitched it in. So it turned out pretty nice. I put it on uh, both of the gunnel walls as well as I also made kind of like these fake pockets on the back of the motor cover and over here on the back of the captain's chair as well. So I think they look pretty nice. So what do you guys think? You want to go out on the lake right now? Yeah. Yeah? I think we have to wait, don't we? A little bit. Yeah. What do you think? How'd it turn out? 